This is outright lawlessness on the part of the administration. Uh, whatever the politics of this, we do have a constitution. And under it, the legislature, the Congress, enacts the laws and the executive executes them. It doesn't make them up. The, the, the DREAM Act was rejected by Congress. It is now being enacted by the executive despite the express will of the Congress. That is lawless. It may not be an explicit executive order, it's an implicit one. It's exactly as Obama is doing with the EPA. Cap and trade is rejected, so it's going to re regulate carbon emissions, again, the, through, execu through executive action. And in this case, it's even worse in the case of immigration, because it's arbitrary. If you leave it at the discretion of a prosecutor, instead of having the rule of law where it applies to everybody, you're going to have a prosecutor here and there who'll decide, well, this guy will get in and this guy not. Entirely arbitrarily, it's corrupting and it's lawless. And that, that, that's not the way you run a democracy. You can't what about, deport 11 million people. You, you deport whoever is in your custody according to your laws. There's no reason that you have to choose between uh, deporting a criminal and deporting others. You do both. That's what the law says. If you don't want to, if you want to give exemptions to a class of people, let's say students, well, you pass a law to say that. You don't leave it in the hands of a bureaucrat who make a decision. It's corrupting and it's not to be done. Prosecutors have discretion in all sorts of yeah, matters. But this is a directive that the president is ordering to, to do it according to a criterion that the Congress has rejected.